webinar. We've spoken to some of you uh, electronically, uh, but it's good to, to see you um, um, virtually. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and, um, and get us started as it relates to uh, our um, MBA program at A&T. Um, so certainly on behalf of our Dean, um, uh, Dean Kevin James, uh, who is pictured uh, there in the upper right hand corner of the screen, um, we, we certainly uh, are grateful that you have uh, shown interest in, uh, in the Willie A. D.'s College of Business and Economics. Um, this is a um, uh, incredible business college. Uh, certainly we are um, very excited about all that the MBA uh, is doing in the lives of our students. Um, uh, the, 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 the rankings that uh, we have uh, achieved uh, are a testament to the type of quality that, that we'll be discussing in detail um, that we deliver uh, through our curriculum for our students and for our constituents. We are currently ranked uh, third uh, in the state of North Carolina uh, for and among online MBA programs and 29th in the country uh, for our online MBA. Um, the um, uh, latest uh, U.S. News and World Reports uh, have us um, ranked as the number one largest uh, MBA uh, program in the South um, uh, amongst public uh, institutions. And so lots of good things happening um, uh, despite the pandemic that, that, that we're all dealing with around the world. Uh, and so, so we really, really thank you again uh, for being a part of uh, this, this webinar. Um, so our mission uh, for the Dees College is, is really simple. I mean, it, it's, we, we're about developing people. Uh, we're, we're about student success. Um, we're about um, diverse and culturally competent leadership. And so, so when we're trying to build that through every class, through every student interaction, through everything that we do in the classroom and outside the classroom, and, 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 and we're accomplishing this mission through evidence-based instruction. Uh, we, we accomplish it through working with our executive advisory committee that we'll talk about in a few minutes uh, and a lot of the professional community engagement um, so, that, so that we can make sure that the theory that we teach in a classroom is literally touching the ground, um, um, so to speak, as it relates to how our students literally use what they've been taught. Um, so also high impactful um, research uh, is going on and, and, and some of our students through the way of graduate assistantships have the opportunity to, uh, to work in some of those research areas. Um, as I said, um, we, we, we are the uh, hallmark of quality. Um, we have been uh, AACSB accredited um, since 1979. Our accounting program has its own separate accreditation and it's been accredited since 1986. Um, less than 5% of the business schools around the world uh, have uh, the ACSB um, uh, accreditation, and that, that really uh, goes to, to really vet and speak about the assurance of learning and the types of things that we want to be sure that we're doing inside of all our classes throughout the curriculum uh, to drive home critical thinking skills, uh, global awareness uh, skills, uh, and big data, data analytics skills. Um, you know, we want to make sure that that, that, that is... Um, uh, a part of, of, of your experience when you come uh, to North Carolina A&T State University and the MBA program. And so um, very, very proud of, of, of that. Uh, very, very, very proud of that. Um, be, before we step into the, um, the, 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 the fullness of the MBA program, um, we have um, on uh, the, the Zoom meeting today, the webinar today, um, one of our um, very uh, dear colleagues, um, uh, Dr. Clay Gloucester, who uh, uh, is the Dean of the Graduate College. Uh, when you apply uh, to the MBA program, uh, the first place that you step through is the Graduate College. Uh, we, we work hand in glove with the Graduate College, a uh, tremendous relationship uh, that we have. And, um, and, and I thought it fitting uh, to to uh, I'll have uh, Dr. Gloucester to give you uh, some insight uh, just as it relates to um, what ANT is doing from a graduate college perspective, since you'll be uh, a part of that, of that world. So thank you, Dr. Gloucester. And thank you, uh, Dr. Gladney, for that wonderful introduction. I'd just like to welcome each and every one of you to this webinar today. 
Um, I'd like to welcome you home to North Carolina a t the number one uh, public HBCU in the nation as um, recognized by US News and World Report. I'd like to welcome you home. home. Welcome home to North Carolina a t the largest public HBCU in the country. North Carolina a t is ranked third in the UNC system in terms of externally funded research expenditures and and, and we, we do more than 60 million dollars of research annually and and the research engine of the institution is our graduate students. Those are the hands that conduct that over 60 million dollars of research each year and so so we welcome you to the more than 1500 graduate students um, who are in 10 PhD programs, many of which are in uh, engineering and science, technology, and, and math and STEM disciplines. Uh, we welcome you to ANT, where we have about 28 master's programs, of which uh, the MBA is actually the largest uh, master's program on our campus. Um, and so we, we welcome you home to North Carolina a t well, you'll have the opportunity to explore exciting new technologies, where well, you'll have the opportunity uh, to discover and expand the depths of your own intellectual prowess, and where you'll become not only leaders in your MBA program and the university, but in the local, the regional, the national, and the global community. Once again, I welcome you to a t and look forward uh, to working with you here at your new home. Thanks. All right. Thank you, uh, Dr. Gloucester. We certainly appreciate that. Um, uh, what a, what a, um, a great home it is. Um, so when you look um, past the, uh, the, the level of quality that, um, that's built into um, this, this program and, and, and quite candidly across the college, um, and you and you peel the onion back a bit. Our, our MBA uh, has um, four concentrations um, that we hope um, every single one of you on this call uh, will fit into. Um, we have a human resource management concentration. We have an accounting concentration. We have a supply chain management concentration and a general uh, concentration. Um, the the Four concentrations are all offered in class and online with the exception of the accounting concentration. The accounting concentration will soon be offered in class and online, um, but right now it's just in class. Um, we are working to ensure that some of the, um, the high level computational um, pieces associated with the concentration courses can be um, really done in a way that is high quality so that our students um, have um, every um, uh, piece, uh, every advantage, um, and not lose anything by, by going online and still having some 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 fairly high computation that exists within uh, the accounting concentrations. Um, the um, the uh, online MBA uh, began in the, in the summer of 2017, and many of you know the marketplace uh, for the MBA is changing uh, rapidly, and so. Uh, to already be a leader across the state and across the country uh, from, an, from an online MBA perspective is, uh, is, is, a, is a very, very good thing. Um, a lot of our activities and re resources, we like to say that we are uh, student-centered and business mentored. Um, and the, the activities and resources that we have, I think, are second to none. Um, our Closing Bell Speaker Series gives our students an opportunity to connect and meet personally, network with um, leaders from across the world uh, who are doing incredible things, uh, presidents, senior vice presidents, uh, corporate officers um, are, are, are in our halls and, and, and lecturing and, and speaking with our students through, through this Closing Bell Speaker Series, um, professional development workshops, uh, a lot of the in internships and job placement assistance. Um, we are regularly uh, receiving phone calls from Dell, AT&T, John Deere, um, XPO Logistics, um, IBM, um, International Paper, Volvo White, Syngenta, I could just keep naming them, uh, who are literally in our building all the time. 
uh, talking with not just the general student body, but they'll come in and they'll, you know, some, somebody will want to just speak to supply chain management. And you'll we'll be in the dean's conference room um, with uh, just supply chain management students and a Fortune 500 company, a multinational company that wants to, um, you know, so, you know, begin to, to work with you uh, in internships and co-ops and job placements. And, and um, you'll see a little later on, uh, they work with us inside of our classroom as well uh, to expose students to uh, the day in the life of or day in the semester. <laughs> so, so we work the semester long on some projects for some of these companies. Uh, we have a financial trading room, uh, lots of business mentors that, that, that are made up of some of the people that you'll meet on the next slide from our executive advisory committee, uh, case competitions, which we'll talk to you about a little later on the comp in, in this presentation. Um, and, and, and in addition to the rich partnership that we have with our graduate college, we also partner very well with our Office of Career Services. And sometimes um, uh, the director of the Office of Career Services um, does what Dr. Clay Gloucester did and, um, and, and participate on, on some of his webinars. So lots of resources and activities uh, that we're working um, um, very hard uh, to make sure are also virtual and not only physical as, as, as we're trying to, to, to adapt to a new normal as it relates to um, uh, the pandemic that we're all a part of. So, 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 so we're, we're trying to make sure the closing bells are virtual and um, the um, uh, career placement opportunities are virtual and the academic advising, and et cetera, so uh, we don't miss a beat. Tremendous alums, um, both Dr. Gloucester and myself uh, are alums of, of North Carolina a and but, um, and, and we've done some great things in our careers. We're also partnered with other um, alums, uh, Willie Deese, um, Executive Vice President at Merck, who just recently retired, but who is intimately involved in everything that we do inside of the College of Business and Economics. It's, it's named after him, as a matter of fact, the Deese College, uh, Patricia Zoller. Milo Zoller, um, doing great things on Wall Street, um, is a, a household name and is very involved in what we do here. Um, not only in terms of just 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 being a philanthropic giver, but uh, but an idea uh, generator and an innovator, uh, along with our students. And so, um, you know, Hilda Penix, uh, Ragland, and Dimitri Stockton, Tiffany Eubanks. I mean, just a. We could, we could have another slide or two full of names that we work with on a regular basis of individuals who are working at some of the largest companies in the world, Sam's Club and, and others that aren't even on this slide, uh, Amazon are a part of, of, of our outstanding alums uh, who really want to, uh, to see our students succeed. And so uh, you have access uh, to these individuals. Um, you're, you're going to see, um, and, and many of you have already seen, ncatmba.com. Um, I think you were there to register for the webinar. Um, and, and so even while I'm um, talking, uh, you can uh, just take a look at, at the website um, um, and, and let that be one of your common places uh, to, to come and get information about the MBA and about AMT. So I'm going to pivot a bit and talk about the uh, MBA curriculum. Um, we really have um, um, continued to put a lot of time into this curriculum, um, trying to make sure that it's very market centric, uh, changing courses when we need to change courses based on what we hear from the market and from our executive advisory committee, uh, committee folks and other, other, other market inputs to help shape this curriculum. Um, but um, so the, so the, the uh, MBA is a 36 hour degree. Um, the 36 hours is split up into 24 hours of core courses that you'll see in a few minutes that give you a really good, good um, uh, floor of, of, of an MBA a business acumen and, and, a, and a business framework. Uh, and then we will give you 12 hours worth of concentration courses in those four concentrations that I talked about earlier, human resource management, accounting, supply chain management, and general MBA. Uh, and our students walk out with, with, a, with a solid um, uh, MBA that is ready to be leveraged in the career of your choice. Now, um, of course, um, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an electrical engineer, um, spent part of my career doing that. Even after I did my MBA, uh, I was tossed back into corporate research and technology uh, and spent a lot of time working with PhD scientists who could dream up the idea uh, but couldn't productize it. 
And so the MBA, who, who was the engineer, uh, talked with and worked with uh, those scientists. Um, and then we actually put products in the marketplaces and we did that around the world. And it was a tremendous career. And so, 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 so if you're an engineer listening to me, uh, tremendous combination. Uh, we have individuals that don't have a business undergraduate foundation in fa fashion, dice, fashion and, and merchandising. Um, and they don't want to uh, do fashion merchandising per se, but they want to get on the supply chain side of that. Uh, and they're doing very, very well um, and, and having great success in terms of internships. And so, so we, we, we welcome you who don't have the business background. And we say that this is the MBA for you. Now, when I was doing my MBA as a double E, um, I, I came in um, with math and no one could out quant me um, because double E, you got to have a lot of math. But I didn't have the, the language of business. And so, so uh, swaps and puts and calls and capital budgets and, and T accounts and consolidated balance sheets and all those things were foreign to an engineer. And so, so, so we had some, some foundation courses to really help build a good foundation so that when we got ready to take the, the core and concentration course of an MBA, we did very, very well. And so we have the same thing here at A&T. Um, when you look at the core courses, the three hour core courses, um, they are um, economics and accounting, uh, corporate strategy and policy, operations, uh, business analytics, um, management, or, management and organizational behavior, corporate finance, um, strategic marketing. Uh, as you can see, a very solid core courses uh, that, that, that a good MBA ought, ought to be able to, to have and master and be able to leverage. Um, and then we break out into those concentration courses. So each concentration takes the core and then you break out into your own four. Uh, so for accounting, uh, advanced income tax accounting, applied applications and financial accounting, advanced auditing, advanced cost. Um, so solid um, curriculum there. Um, staffing, uh, comp and bin for our human resource management uh, concentration, compensation and benefits, employee relations and development, Human resource management strategy, so a very, very good, rich concentration for our um, online uh, for, for our for our human resource management concentration. And you should know around this area, um, you know, you you can't go to other schools, um, some of the schools that are, that are right here in North Carolina, and get that concentration. Um, um, same with accounting. Um, so 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 we we really are differentiated, especially when you start looking at an online degree. Who still, who still has these types of concentrations. Um, when you look at supply chain management, global supply chain design, procurement logistics, uh, supply chain systems with, with the ERP, um, you know, and, you, and, and the, the, the SAP dashboard, um, you certainly will be integrated uh, and, and learn about, um, you know, Tableau and, and other uh, big data and data analytic visualization type of, um, of, of, of packages so that you can uh, be able to rightly present um, what you are, what you have analyzed and discovered so managers can make decisions based on it. Um, strategic logistics uh, management uh, is, is, um, is also covered there. Um, the, uh, the general MBA um, is going to give you a little bit of, of, a little bit of everything associated with the aforementioned um, concentrations. And so we're going to give you some supply chain management and strategic logistics. Uh, going to give you uh, some analytics uh, or communication and something that has been very popular across all concentrations. So not just general management people take this course. That's the practicum or internship course, MGMT 785. That course, we are working with companies uh, from all around the world uh, and we serve as consultants for those companies for the entire semester. Some of the companies could be regional uh, North Carolina companies. Some of them could be, you know, we work with the USDA in Shanghai uh, last year, of course, not, not now. <laughs> um, we built their, their marketing uh, entry strategy uh, for all of the U.S. companies who want to do business with, with packaged food goods uh, in China. Uh, so they're using that, that, that marketing strategy to help our U.S. companies do business in China. And so the class built the built the, the, the strategy, we went to China, 
uh, presented it. I went to the largest, uh, you know, food uh, trade show in the world and just tremendous experience. We are currently working with VF Corporation on a diversity and inclusion uh, project that they have across uh, the multiplicity of brands that they have. And uh, we, are, we are presenting tomorrow, as a matter of fact, with their corporate management team out in Denver, Colorado. We should, we, we, we are planning to physically be there, but of course uh, we cannot be present physically. And so we're gonna be there um, virtually. Um, but uh, lots of supply chain management, accounting, uh, HRM students want to take an extra course uh, because they don't want to miss the 785 course. Um, the concentration, the foundation courses, again, not punitive, uh, but uh, these are courses that when you take them as a non-business major, you are assuring yourself a, a, a greater level of success when you hit those core and concentration courses. Um, so, so that's the accounting course. We have a methods of business analytics, a enterprise management course, uh, and a seminar in economics that gives you a little bit of my, macro and micro. Now, I know that there may be some people on here who are from AT&T um, and, and, our, and our managers uh, and, and employees at AT&T. We have a relationship with AT&T where um, those employees may not have to take all of these foundation courses um, due to the, um, the nature of our relationship. And so certainly uh, AT&T folks have been have been emailing us and we've been making sure that we get you where you need to be. Um, but for everybody else, we look at your transcript and we want to make sure uh, that you've had my, micro and macro and that you've made at least a B or better so that, so that when you get ready to hit the real fastball that's coming at you in our core economics course, you're gonna do well. Um, so um, we are really excited about that. Um, um, before we get even to the setting, setting your own curriculum at your own pace, there is another uh, concentration that we're working on uh, with the College of Engineering, and that is a uh, concentration in um, innovation and entrepreneurship. So stay tuned for that. Um, also uh, stay tuned for a couple of certificate programs that we're about to launch. Uh, we're gonna launch a certificate program in supply chain management and a certificate program in human resource management. So that'll be, um, you know, about four courses, four or five courses per certificate. Um, and that certificate will, will be a, 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 a wonderful way for you to, if you have a friend or that doesn't want to do the full MBA immediately, you can start, get your certificate. Um, those four courses, if you do decide to go finish your MBA, uh, can count towards your degree. Um, so don't have those yet, um, but those are, those are coming post haste. Um, MBA is at your own pace. Um, so typically folks finish in a year and a half, two years, all right? Some, some, some online um, folks will finish a little longer than two years because of their family situation or their work um, um, uh, you know, load that they have in terms of their career. Uh, and and that, that's okay. Um, you know, many, many of our in-class students will take three or four courses a semester. Many of our online students typically take two some three some per semester, but most of them two. Um, but it's really at your own pace. For example, you can see this is a two-year track that someone has that has to take all of the foundation courses. So when I looked at their transcript, they didn't have any, any, any management that they'd taken, no economics, no accounting, uh, you know, no, no stats or, or analytics. And so they needed to take all the foundation courses plus our 36 hours and they still could get out in two years if they took four courses per semester. Um, and they can get out even faster because we do offer some of our core courses during the summer, uh, so that this time could be cut down as well. Uh, here's somebody else who didn't have to take foundation courses and they took three courses per semester, uh, and it's a two-year track. Could be less than two years again, because between the, first, between the first and the second semester, you could do summer. And between the third and the fourth semester, you could do summer and cut that time down. Um, here's somebody else who finished in a year and a half by taking four courses. So, so really, it's, it's, it, you're, you're going to have a graduate plan of study. Uh, that graduate plan of study is going to be your key document that guides your pace and um, throughout the program. So, so we do have an order to our courses. We don't want you to take you know, corporate finance and corporate, corporate strategy and policy 
without having economics and accounting and, and finance. So we will, we will, we do have some gates to block you from taking certain courses. But when you get your graduate plan of study, I'm going to already have ordered those courses uh, for you. Now, the timing in which you take those courses can change uh, two per semester, three per semester. But we want you to keep the order the same. So, so that you'll, you'll see the graduate plan of study. It'll be one of the most common documents that, that, that you have <clears throat> while you are in uh, the program. Changing gears and getting outside of, 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 the, of, of the classroom a bit. Um, you know, it, it is a lot of, a lot of fun, uh, I, I think. I think the MBA is a, is a great time in your career. If you are trying to retool uh, your career and um, this is the degree to do it, this is the university to do it in. Um, so, so in addition to, to what we're doing for you in the classroom, we're going to expose you nationally to a lot of different conferences uh, and, and case competitions. And so um, we, we go every year. Uh, to the National Black MBA uh, Conference. And, um, and, and so I think this year it is uh, going to be in Washington, D.C. And I met yesterday with um, one of the uh, top officials of the National Black MBA, and so they are uh, still planning to have the conference. We're going to be a major part of it. We're going to not only have our case competition team of MBAs, but we're going to bring some more MBAs since we're kind of close. Greensboro is not too far from D.C., um, and so we're going to bring some more MBA students. We're going to try to have some undergraduate students um, because we're trying to make sure that undergrads can kind of funnel right on through to the MBA. Um, uh, SCA Chrysler typically sponsors this event as a wonderful case study. Um, $25,000 is, is the top prize. We've been a finalist before, uh, and we hope to win it all some, some, uh, this year. Uh, there's a key bank case competition that's in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. That was in February. It's in February of every year. Uh, so that's more of the financial services side. Um, so it's always a great, great case competition. It's done in partnership with Ohio State University. Howard um, University does a case competition. We've, we've been a part of the Battle of the Brains uh, case competition, which is uh, out in Austin, Texas, and is, and is, and is um, a part of uh, we, we try to work in some South by Southwest, which is this major technology uh, kind of Comdex-ish um, um, conference that uh, is there in Austin. And so our students get exposed to that. Um, again, the National Black MBA, um, big prize that's split between the team of four students. Unfortunately, the faculty members and advisors, we don't get a chance to share in that, but it's, 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 it's going to be good to, to just celebrate the success of our students that the winners get to go to the Chrysler headquarters. Um, you know, it's just great as an expo. Uh, There's second to none uh, at the National uh, uh, Black MBA Conference that you are there, you're interviewing. Many of our students have gotten jobs on the spot there uh, before um, almost every year, as a matter of fact. So uh, it's, a, it's a great event. Um, $10,000 top prize for the Key Bank uh, case competition, uh, team of three. Um, and uh, we, we're, we're, we're trying to to talk about a current bank issue that they have uh, to solve, whether it's cybersecurity, whether it's blockchain technology, whether it's you know um, different business cases every every single year. But it's 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 a, it's a great thing. Same thing with Howard, five thousand dollar prize for the first place team. Um, and uh, and yes, this is the uh, picture um, of some other outside the classroom activities we when we were when we did our project with USDA Shanghai um, um, the year before uh, we went and, um, and, and and this is so we've gone two two years back to back we always do business visits in the morning and we do cultural visits in the afternoons and so you know in addition to the USDA Shanghai we're at the Hyundai Motor Company plant which is just phenomenal like six or seven football fields of, of plants. They're making Hyundai um, uh, automobiles every 72 seconds. You can eat off the manufacturing plant floor, something to see. Um, we'll, we'll be sitting down with one of the partners of um, PricewaterhouseCoopers. Um, tremendous conversation about the things they're working with. Um, we visited some of the top uh, capital investment firms around the world. Uh, they're in China and looking at how malls are built and different houses, housing complexes are built around the world. 
uh, just great exposure for our, for our students uh, every year we do this. Um, and of course, getting on the Great Wall of China uh, is, is a sight to see. This is last year's event. Um, and, um, the top left picture is myself talking to Terry Branstead, uh, U.S. Ambassador to China, uh, as they are negotiating in the middle of a trade war uh, last year. Um, very interesting to have been a, a part of that, right in a, a market strategy that, that uh, the USDA is using uh, currently. And so bottom right picture is uh, just the students that went. Um, and so you certainly will be a part of that. PricewaterhouseCoopers, Honda Motor Plant are these pictures. Um, so it's, it's work in the mornings and then it's, it's some, some, some good um, opportunity to see things culturally in the afternoons. Um, we call career placement at A&T first destination readiness um, because we know that our students are gonna not be, be at uh, the, the company forever. All right, so, so this is just your first stop, your first destination. And so we have uh, a fall career fair and a spring career fair that's second to none. Especially, um, as a matter of fact, the fall career fair is so large now and so we have to do it two days. Um, so career readiness is, is, a, is a big part of what we do and have always done. Even when I was at a and back in the day, um, multiple internships, multiple offers, um, you know, I, I remember um, picking Xerox before I said yes, we were on airplanes with, with, with other colleagues, um, you know, interviewing at other companies. And it's just a nice, it's nice to know that you're at a university where people are coming looking for you. And, um, and, and that's, a, that's a great, great, great feeling. And um, you'll see colleagues all around you, your, 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 your students and your cohort uh, who are becoming very, very successful in, in, in that market is vetting your degree not only by, by providing you a great offer, but, by, but also by, by providing you a great salary to go along with that offer. All right. Um, so I, I certainly want each and every one of you to go to ncatmba.com. When you get there, um, I'm going to see if I can get out of this for a second and take you there. Um, it is so simple to apply. Um, my son is doing Algebra 1. So you get a peek at what he's working on. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, but if you go to, uh, to ncatmba.com and right here on the right hand side, if you click the nice multicolored quilt, I like to call it, and you'll go to the next page and it says how to apply to the MBA program, super simple. Um, you'll, you'll see all of the requirements that you need to have. Certainly if you're at AT&T, um, you, you, you have the frequently asked questions on your website inside of AT&T. And so these are modified a little bit for AT&T um, uh, employees, but, but, uh, everybody else, um, you'll, you'll, these are the, um, uh, the requirements for the, for the application and you simply click apply here. And when you click apply here, you go straight to Dr. Gloucester's world and you start your application in the graduate admissions portal um, and you finish it. Uh, his team processes and vets it first to make sure that you have everything that's listed in that um, uh, required list of things that you need for the application. Uh, and then they pass it to, to us in the MBA uh, program and our admissions um, committee begins to vet those applications and we read your writing samples and we look at your letters of recommendation and we scrub the transcript and we uh, you know, look, at, look at everything and then we make a very good decision. Um, uh, look, at our, look at your GRE or GMAT scores uh, and we make a real good decision to, to, to make sure that we're admitting someone who really can be successful um, uh, in, this, in this program and the curriculum that we've designed. And so I, I want every one of you to, to please take the opportunity to apply. And uh, again, I thank you so, so very, very much for being a part of this webinar.